Hi everybody. Today we're going to look at how to add a new product to your website. So first thing you're going to do is log into the website and you'll land on the dashboard. You're going to scroll down here to products and we're going to go to add new product. I'll wait for this to load. All right. So super easy. The first thing you're going to do is add your product name. So let's see, one inch toothpaste. And here you're going to add all your large descriptions. So tell what the product is, why is it relevant. You can do your specs in here. You can make them bullet points just like you would in a Word doc. Um, one inch, wood, whatever. I actually want to scroll all the way down for a second. Then I want to show you the the product short description is kind of the first thing people see next to the images. And then up here, this is the information that they would see if they scroll down for more details. So this, you know, can be a short description. One, one inch wood toothpicks, um, great for bulk purchases, whatever needs to go there. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to this product data. This is where the meat of the content is going to go as far as pricing and all that. Um, if the product has options like small, medium, large, you're going to make it a variable product. Otherwise, you can leave it as a simple product. For the simple products, you're going to put in your price, $5. If you want to do a sale, you can tell when to start it, when to end it, and put in what that price is going to be. You can tell if it's top taxable or should not be taxed. You can tell what rate it should be taxed at. So we're gonna leave this one taxable. If you wanted to manage inventory, you can manage your stock here, tell how many quantities. Um, you can add a SKU. If you are shipping, then you'll wanna have a weight in here so that the system knows how heavy it is for um, calculating your shipping cost. Dimensions, especially if it's a weird dimension, you'll definitely wanna put your dimensions in too. Um, those are really the bulk of what you need to do there. And then we want to set a product image. So if you have not uploaded the image, select file, find wherever you store the file and put it in. Um, otherwise, in the media library, we have lots of pictures already set. Always, always, always want to put in an alt text. So um, one inch too thick. You want to tell what the picture is. This will help with your SEO and it also help with your ADA compliance. Um, and then if you... You don't really need caption and description unless you're showing them for something. So I like to just put the same thing in just so something's there. And then set your product image. So you'll see now our product image is attached to our product itself. And then go through and tell what category it needs to go to. So these are going to go in picks and then publish your um, product. And that's it. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have questions.